guys. Well, I had quite the day. My Monte Carlo's over there somewhere behind the bush. And I thought there would be a car show here. But with this COVID and that, it looks like uh, that's been postponed. Then I'm cruising around here and I can't believe it. There's an actual cemetery at the mall here. Uh, what mall am I at? Applewood. No. Bridalwood? Yeah, Bridalwood Mall. And uh, that's at um, Finch's just down there. And this is Markham. Or, or Woodbine, sorry. Woodbine and uh, Finch. Yeah, it's pretty wild. That surprised the heck out of me. 1836. 100 acres. Uh, by Isabel Grimm. Mm -hmm. And uh, we'll have a look at this, but uh, I'll let you guys read it. Pause the tape and, that and just check it out in a sec. I'm going to look around. Oh, it's quite crazy. So there's... Oh, cool. Check this out. 1856. That's my... Looking around here. It appears this is a car where they dug up all the uh, stones and markings on the ground. And uh, there you go, I mean, you can see the little ones there, the initials, FW, JW, JW, JW. So they're located around here, in this area. Now just look along, I see your mother. Looks like the bottom portion of a stone. Another part portion of the bottom, right? and we can't quite see there what it says, this guy named John, John Fletcher, Mary Ann, we got a date here, she was 49, died in 1861, so it's a pretty old Pioneer Cemetery, this area here you gotta remember that. It was all farmland and uh, just like all the other cemeteries in the middle of nowhere. But as you can see, the city grew into it. Check it out. You can see how much went into the ground. They stuck it. 1860. Three months. Okay? Three months. It's neat how they did the flower. Eyes of Christie. 1871. 74 years from Ireland. The erosion on that one. Pretty, pretty eroded. There's Ann Dix, 1971. Eyes of Christie. I can read. I can read that one. But the rest of it's pretty faded. James. Is that a C? Glegg? No, it's a G. It's a G. Gleeland, 1855 at 33. And Thomas Henry, nine days, nine days, crazy. And then there you go, man, Mary Jane died a year old, 1955. And they were the children to James. It's a nice uh, stone that they have here. 1850, another 1850, 1850s. And German, 1881. And German, and George Lee, 1881. It's hard to read that. It looks like 81 years of age. George Lee, 1875 at 65 years old. And uh, let's see here, memory of. Probably you can read it better on the video. Is that A? Wayne's last name? Gales? 35 years old. Mary Cameron. This one here is in nice shape. Relatively all there. 1863 at 35 years old. Okay. What's interesting is, you know, these are the stones here. And it's lying around. 1849 at 36 years old. Priscilla? Is that what it says? P-E-R something there, chipped, 
Purcell, H. Purcell, oh, geez, gotta help me out on that one. 36 years old. Elizabeth. Really right, Dart, March 25th, 1856. Sadly, can't get a name on that. And of course, he's here. Look at that. They just, uh, they collapsed and broke. Neglect. And there's the markers that they put in here. Pretty cool. CTJW. Is there anything on the other side here? Nope, it's all on the one side. But there is some of the bigger stones here, unfortunately. I mean, I can only imagine vandals here. Who's this? Lewis Run? Bun? It's uh, 19, 1870. Died. Was that something three years old? Eight, something three. It's hard to read that. 23 years old. 1898. It looks like an eight there. Or a six. 1896. You can see the design on there that they did. It's kind of neat. On concrete. But look at how it shifted. You can see how this whole base on top of that concrete just shifted. Take a look. You'll see it's that little... Uh, not quite uh, square there, right? Oh, look at that. You can tell here. So, yeah. Let's have a look here. Okay. Try and get a reflection here. We can see it better. Hard to read. It's just that type of granite. So, we'll move along, along here. It looks like somebody's paid respect to this particular monument. These people. Is that a name on the bottom there? Or a design? It's just so hard to read. And there's some little inscriptions here. This stone feels softer. It's the older kind of stone. Memory of death died in uh, 18... What's that? 1818 something? Died January 27th, 18... It looks like an eight, trying to do an eight there, 1880. I could say a two, but I don't think it is. At 19 years old? Or at nine years old, aged 19? Check out the inscription on the diagonal. At rest. So this must have been a really neat stone with the inscriptions. Look, they got a design there. I mean, when it was new and all nice and crisply made. The engravings, uh, you know, were nice and sharp and deep. 1895, I see here, at 83 years old. James Lee, 1895, 83. So it was an 1800s born. Just wonder when they came to, uh, when they came to this country, Canada. So I'm going to wonder how many of these trees are actually, here I'll show you a little wide angle. We'll check out another one here. Oh yeah, we already looked at this one. Let's continue on. I love these. I don't know what the name of these trees are here. But I like these. I just love the way the, uh, the fuzz on them, eh? It's like your eyes go blurry. You think your, your eyes are blurry. Well, this is a nice stone. I'm gonna imagine. Obviously, the concrete came off here, but this would have been uh, probably going quite high. Uh, 1864, Florence Wright died June 1883 at 26 days. 26 days, infant daughter born April 15th, 1864. Oh man. David Wright, June, uh, he was 14, 14 two months in 1882. There's another young one, John Wright, died June 1882, two years, eight months. And then just around the back, you can't see, it looks like Mary Wright. She was, is that five years, five days, and three, John M. Wright. Three months, three days. What a sad story this is. 
I mean, the family just about lost the whole bloodline. It seems like so many people died there in that one family. It's crazy. It's sad. Well, you can see the piece missing up here. It was obviously uh, something on the upper, I believe. It just looks too rough. And check it out. Even this is out of whack, too. It's out of kilter. You notice? See how it's a little off? So these poor things probably... Oh, well, there you go. This whole thing's wobbly. Even the base is a little bit wonky there. Let's see. The wife of, uh, died in, in December. Look at that. Oh, that would suck. Just before Christmas. 37 years. Isaac Christie, his wife, 1871, what, is that what I read, 1797, born 1797, 1700s, 1832 to 1820, who's this again, let's check this person out, Isaac Christie, and this is B.L. Isabella, Grain, his wife. Ooh, 1700s, isn't that crazy? Well, this looks like, I wonder if this has ever uh, been there for a long time. We're almost around. Oh, by the way, my Monte Carlo's right there. You can see it sticking out beside that guy with a white car. My memory of George Morgan from Ireland. 18 what? 1878. 1878 at in his 83rd year. Whew. Quite a range, eh? You know, if you're lucky if you get by five years. And if you do that, your next milestone is your 30s, and you're doing okay. And if you can get past that, check it out here. So I'm just looking. See all this forest. Of course, there'd be bodies here. There's probably something here. The stones have been removed. I wonder what's in this. This little brush. If there's anything underneath here, I would say, yeah. So this little plot. Morley Morgan died June 10th. That two months. Crazy two months. Margaret J. Morgan died uh, on the 20th, 1877. Two years, five months. There's this another one. This is a bunch of babies. This is John Morgan died. 36. So John C. Morgan is a doctor. And then around the back, you're hard to read. You see, George Morgan died. In, he was 55. Also, his wife. Died in 1917 at 77 years old. Wow. There was obviously something on the top there. It's gone. I would imagine being a doctor. Probably did okay to get a half decent stone, but looking on top here, you can see it's like concrete. It's not concrete glue that they put there. But anyway, it's quite a surprise to see this uh, little cemetery here. And, uh... Oh, I just noticed something here. That's what I think it says. Bone? Bone. What was his last name, Bone? Crazy. But look how far off that is. It's like, just, I could just see somebody, eh, I got a bad feeling. What a place for a graveyard, right? And it's all been growing around. We got a mall just over to the right. I think it's a very nice atmosphere here, but I mean, still, this is like in the middle of the city. Anyway, we'll walk around on the back side here. Just to let you see, got these nice little, uh, uh, things like a gate around here. It's a car in there on the back side. I see they had fencing around here, and I'm wondering if this is original. It certainly has the weathering on it. So I'm wondering if this was an original, um, 
these things were original because they put them on there. Oop, you got the birds flying out. Well, anyway, that was an interesting little walk and discovery. Right? These are the, all the stones here. These are the bigger ones. People can see and read most of them. Then here, just the way the shape is, they get smaller, smaller, and then we start to see the markers. There's mother, there's the initials for the JW family, FW. So that would have been the markers that were probably right around here, uh, indicating where everybody was, each person was laid. Whew, these are hard to walk on. Crunch. I'm twisting my ankle. Well, I thought you guys would like it. A very interesting little discovery. I mean, you could look for more information on it. Find out more, but essentially they're all the same. Nice little community. I wonder if there was a church here at one point. I gotta check an old map. Maybe there is uh, something. But I think I'm gonna go for a cruise. Just go for a drive. My car's behind that white car. There's the mall, very dead because of COVID. I mean, this mall's dead. There's a lot of missing empty shops. But this Mr. Kongi Chinese cuisine, it's very Asian here. Uh, a lot of Chinese food and a lot of signs I can't read. <laughs> and uh, that's the way it is. Mark them. Cemetery at the mall. See it out there. There you go. Enjoy. Hope you liked it. Subscribe. Hit all those buttons for me, you know. The one that has the thumb up your butt and give me a spank. Or is that the thumbs up? A spank. Yeah, give me a spank. A spank. Give me the finger. And give me whatever else there. And I uh, appreciate it, guys. Take care.